What's up guys? It's so awkward to handle such a big device, especially while filming. So if I can move it without breaking it. So this is the Galaxy Tab S9 FE from Samsung. And actually, I actually think it's the Plus. Is it the Plus or the FE? Why do I not know this about my own device? Come on. Um, actually, let me check this out. So it's a Tab S9 FE. So today, it's there is a software update. So couldn't download. Why not? You have internet connection. Does it need Wi-Fi? Uh, let me turn my hotspot on for my phone. Verizon is slacking. Add network. Oops. Nope, that's not what I want. Okay. So, yeah. I think this is One UI 6 for a tablet. Um, so let me go ahead and actually just enter my password. As you can see, One UI 1, 2, 3. As if you guys are ever going to be able to connect to my <laughs> Wi-Fi. Um, okay, so connected. So, let's see. Okay, yeah. So this is One UI 6 for a tablet. So security patch level is November 1st. And this, uh, this security update has been out for a while now for this device, but I'm just getting around to installing it right now. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let this install, and I'll be right back when I'm going to... Or I will let it download, and I'll come back when I'm going to install it. Okay, so it is now updating, as you can see. So let's just give it a little while to do that. So it says one UI, and it's at 25%. So let's just let it sit. So to be honest, as I'm filming this video, I'm not quite sure like if a lot of people are going to watch it because, you know, I'm just not <laughs> quite sure like if there's like a big interest in tablet like upgrades. I'm trying to move this around and have it still in frame. But yeah, so I mean, oh, I thought I would try it since I saw that it had needed an update and I assumed that it was the One UI 6 update. But yeah, let me know down in the comments also if you want to see anything on this tablet I'm a device but i mean yeah it is a device um just like anything you want to see i am going to have a review on it and also like um have it with samsung's ecosystem i'm not sure why this is still on here um and just like how good it is like just seamless like connectivity so stay tuned for those and let me let me know <laughs> what you want me to do with this so now it's at 31 percent that would be a good time <laughs> to say if you are enjoying uh, my videos so far and if you have seen my other videos, please consider subscribing. Um, if you're new to my channel, it would mean a lot to me. And yeah, so let's, I'm just going to put this down and let it update. Oh yeah, and also if you're interested in seeing uh, my review on the Galaxy S24 Plus, which I'm going to hopefully be getting this Wednesday, um, also please consider subscribing for that. And to also, if you're interested in to see why I decided to get the Plus instead of the Ultra, also that will be in the next video. As you can see, I'm filming with the S24 Ultra, or S23 Ultra. When do I stick? This is actually taking a little while for it to update, so I'll just... Put it back down and let it do its thing. So one thing that I'm also interested to see is how the software looks because obviously on One UI 6, so with my Z Flip 5 here, um, like the, come on, the redesigned control center, or not control center, <laughs> used to iPhones, um, the redesigned quick settings and notifications also got a Redesign, but like on the cover screen, like it's so the same as it was before. So like I'm wondering if like it'll be the same conclusion with this. So that's something I'm definitely wanting to see for myself and just like how the experience is. Okay, so this is definitely taking forever. The big 50. <sighs> this is definitely taking a while. Um, So I thought maybe it's time to just... I don't know what it's time to do. <laughs> Just wait until it finishes updating, because this is actually literally taking a while. But if it's anything like the phones, like when I upgraded my Galaxy S23 Ultra, when uh, Galaxy Galaxy Z Flip 5, I'm trying to do it in the reflection, there it is, um, or my Galaxy S23 FE, um, or the S23... Just wrote S23. It did take a while to upgrade to One UI 6. Um, but after 51%, it did go really fast, so hopefully it will be the same thing with this. Now, I'm noticing that there's actually a lot more sc screen glare with this device than my Z Flip 5. Z Flip 5 has a good amount, but maybe it's just the sliding condition, like with my studio lights here, and just those TikTok lights. Or not TikTok lights, um, like, uh, fairy lights. Oh, so it's definitely taking longer than I would have anticipated, but it's worth the wait. Or at least I hope it is. <laughs>
Okay, so this might be a kind of weird thing to say, but let me know down in the comments, like, why you clicked on this video. Like, if you have the Galaxy S or Galaxy Tab FE, or Tab S9 FE, or if you just are interested in software updates, or, like, what was your reason for clicking this? And obviously, like, I hope that doesn't sound like I'm hating or anything, but, like, I'm just, like, curious, like, why people, like, watch my videos and, like, what they're interested in, so I can kind of tailor my videos to what you guys actually want to see. And also, let me know what videos you guys are interested in down in the comments. So, let's keep waiting for this update. And I'm also noticing that this, actually, like, screen looks really bad on camera, but it does not look bad in person. Like, it's very high quality, very premium display, just so there's no question about that. Although I am kind of, I'm always, like, nervous when I use this tablet. Even though it is super durable, I know that, but, like, there's no case for it. So I'm kind of worried about that. And also fingerprints are really bad on camera. So it's at 62%. This is definitely taking longer than I would have hoped it to. Oh, now it's at 74. Okay, so I'm assuming this is the part where it's going to start speeding through, hopefully. Um, okay. Okay, so it's been at 76 for a while now. Uh, I'm just waiting for it to keep changing, which it's been forever. So, definitely not what I expected. So, it's not like the phones where once it reached 50, it just, like, sped through. So, I don't know, maybe there's more stuff that it needs to do than the phone. I don't know how tablets really work. Oh, 77. Here we go. Yeah, it's still going to take a while, though. Oh, wow. So, it just jumped to 80. And then now it's... Okay, now it's speeding through it. Finally. Okay, so now it's at 91%. Oh. Maybe it was too soon to stop talk. <sighs> okay. So it's definitely taking a while. I was like, what hole is that? But yeah, it's the US type C. I thought it was the other side. Okay, so 95. Okay. So it's definitely going faster now, thankfully. Well, that just happened. You know what? I don't need the oh. Okay, it's finished. I don't need that pen right now. Okay, so for the optimizing apps, I'm assuming it's gonna fly through this too, but it's gonna stay at a hundred percent for a while. I'm just a guess, but that's what happened when I upgraded my other devices to One UI 6, so let's see what happens. I realize I can see myself talking. Hello guys, how are you doing? How are you doing? How's it going? So definitely taking a little while. I do like how this tablet feels though. It feels very premium. It feels like an iPhone, to be honest. Like it's boxy, very sturdy, even though it is long. Like it's just a super nice, high quality finish. So I'm just gonna let this let it do its thing. Okay, so it just showed the Verizon logo. Showed it again. It actually changed the Verizon logo. It used to be like white and super, super annoying. Come on. Okay, like I said, it's gonna speed through or I might stop at 50. I don't know. Okay, yeah. So it's going super fast through this. And if you want to skip ahead through all of this, um, I'll try to leave timestamps down in the description so you can just kind of jump around so you don't have to wait through all this. I probably should have said that earlier. I might make an edit. Okay, so yeah, like I said, it's going to be at 100% for a little while. Oh, wow. Okay, I guess not. So now... Oh, okay, that looks actually way better, just the lock screen itself. Well, let's turn this in tablet or, I don't know, horizontal orientation. Okay, so the... So it's definitely bigger. Okay. Kind of choppy, but I mean, it just updated. So welcome to One UI 6, hit explore. It's probably literally going to say nothing. Okay, yeah, light. You're all set, yeah. So nothing really new. Okay, so... Apps look more polished. Here it is. Okay, so this is really what I was, like, wondering. So it does, in fact have the new redesigned control center or panel oh my goodness the <laughs> redesigned um quick settings but um it definitely i don't know i don't like how it's choppy kind of can you still access it from wherever though yeah okay so it looks good i think let's hit edit let's hit edit do we have okay quick Instant access. Oh, how does that work, actually? Okay, so you have to go from that side. 
and that's notifications. Okay, so it's kind of actually like a more of an iPad now. Okay, so one thing I want to try to see if it's changed uh, secondary screen. Okay. Uh, oh, Windows or PC. Okay, so let me go ahead and... Um, okay, well, I'll do that in a different video, I guess. But yeah, so everything is updated. Um, everything seems to be super smooth. Let's go ahead and open YouTube. Oh, yeah, I don't like the dark mode, like, at all in any app. Let's go to the Me tab. Go to my Channel tab. Just go to my channel. Um, a little slow, I'm not gonna lie, but, um, probably just because internet may not be the best. Um, yeah, so everything looks great. Everything runs smooth. It looks good, too, which is always good. Okay, I've noticed something. Everyone says the iPhone is a Nokia. Like, like when I ask, like, people, like, what phone is this? Like, they always say Nokia Fold, but whatever. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching that if you did enjoy that short little, I guess it wasn't super short, 10 minutes, but if you enjoyed that video, please consider subscribing for more stuff on the Galaxy Tab S9 FE, and thank you so much for watching this video, and I will catch you in my next one. See you then.